So, oh, Lorna, I'm sorry. No, I, I don't know what's happening with me. It might just be a bad boy. It's just, I don't know. But okay. I feel fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
last year we did a screening. We established the school health clubs uh, where we trained about the um, we trained uh, pupils on practices in uh, water and sanitation. We about HIV AIDS, about malaria. We also introduced the hand wash program. We also supplied um, first aid kits. But the issues which surfaced is we introduced the first aid kits, but uh, the assessment we made is uh, they need to acquire skills in managing the kids. So this was a gap. And that's why we are, we are addressing it this year, as far as uh, uh, managing the first aid kids. We are now, in this new project, we are partnering with um, um, uh, Red Cross Tanzania to, to, uh, to, uh, to train teachers and health club members on how to use and manage the first aid kits. So we'll, yes, we'll supply the kids, but also we'll train them. Secondly, we, build, we, we are going to build up on another component of um, water and sanitation. Last year, we, 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 we told them about hand washing, but unfortunately, there were no hand washing facilities. So this new project, we thought we know now to supply the hand wash facilities for, to, 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 to complement the training aspect that we gave last year. Um, again, um, we are trying to see how we can make this schools, uh, uh, this program sustainable by training teachers to write up projects, proposals to various donors so that they could get some money to improve this uh, program of the activities which have been established by this group, by, by this project. And uh, specifically, we're trying to train teachers on how to write up proposals so that they can secure some funds for improvement of the welfare of the school. Yeah. 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 To me, it's a really well designed project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, could you describe these school health clubs um, and how they complement the rest of the work that you do? Um, we are in, in health clubs, we're trying to reach bigger community through children. So through peer, yes. we, are, we, are, we are training the children, a few of them. We actually were selected in each class, from one to class six, we selected uh, uh, members, whom we are, are going to train the colleagues, fellow students, fellow pupils at school. They are going to send this message home to parents. They are going to send this message home to peer, to peer, peer group members to friends and other relatives. So we want to cultivate a, a, a culture of self hygiene and the sanitation practices. Yeah. From school to the communities to the households. Yeah. Well, um, it's all about inadequate facilities or resources or limited resources at the government level to implement the policy. This policy is not, was not invented by, by FEDA. It is a government policy. School health uh, is a program of, uh, is a national program. Only that it's not to be implemented because of the limited, limited fund or limited financial resources. So what we do, we collaborate, we contact the district education coordinators, we join, we, we team up in implementing these to, 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 to the schools. So um, the, we have the, the um, protocol, which was, uh, again, received the inputs of the government through the coordinators to see that that's what they wanted to implement, but unfortunately they don't have money to implement. There's an issue of, uh, in their policy, they also have an issue of um, health card. Each primary school pupil is supposed to have a health card to see vaccination and uh, the progress of health, health status. But these cards are just laying at the district. So what we want to do now is 
what we are, we are, we are planned, we planned with the district is try to have these cards available in schools and train teachers how to fill these cards so that at any point in time, somebody is aware of his people's health status. So we, we are working in partnership with the, the government through the education uh, department at the ministry to implement this. Well, um, I specialize in health services administration at the master level, and currently I'm teaching development studies at the university. One of the uh, course content that I'm teaching is health determinants, and uh, we, we realize our school of thought believes that virus, bacteria, um, etc., are not the primary cause of health, of ill health. Uh, I mean, uh, virus, uh, bacteria, they are the secondary. The primary ones are social reasons. If we improve sanitation, if we improve nutrition, uh, then we have improved somebody's health status. So, what we are trying to address is we need to team up give the efforts, or give more efforts in preventing by improving the social aspects of health. That means access to better health, I mean access to water and sanitation, access to nutrition, access to education, uh, etc. And in, in, in so doing, when we improve environments, you don't have, uh, you don't have um, uh, the, 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 the virus, you don't have the, the, the bacteria, you don't have the... So we believe most, mm, the common diseases in Tanzania among, among, among other developing countries are waterborne related diseases. Now this waterborne, that's why we get malaria, that's why we got diarrhea, which are major causes for diseases and death for children. So if we address this, cleaning our surroundings, cleaning our environments, uh, using uh, nets, then we, 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 are, we are free from malaria. Yeah. So uh, I'm in the, an area where uh, we believe that we need to do more on social health determinants as a primary control of diseases and death in developing countries. Yeah. Yes. Whether it's nutrition or water mm. or even mm. um, ho home life, education, like everything. Yeah. It's, um, it's something that, as you say, can presumably only be solved by people joining up all mm. of their different efforts. Yeah. So if I was you, I might sometimes say, oh my gosh, that's a massive challenge. Yeah. Like, when do you feel, when was the last time that you ever felt sort of uh, really overwhelmed or had a big challenge in your work? Uh, at school or uh, at the university uh, or within the, with within FEDA? The project. Within yeah, the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Within the project is um, the major challenge, and this is in connection with the project that we are doing with primary schools. Uh, you realize that, uh, yes, we, we, we assess the health status of the people. We examine students, our pupils. But here, there are pupils with health problems, but they don't have money to access thorough medical checkup. Neither FEDA doesn't have money to provide for medical services. That's really a, a serious challenge to us. So all that we do is try to encourage. First advantage is to let the parents know that your child is sick. Secondly, advise where to access proper or thorough medical services. But when it comes to a scenario where maybe they don't have money to meet the medical services, that's where the problem is. 
And, but another challenge, serious challenge that we're facing is um, their majority are suffering from preventable diseases, curable diseases. Only and only when we, there is a serious public uh, intervention, especially on health, on education. But again, we find there is um, um, inadequate resources for FEDA to do that. We wish you could cover a broad community because we see the outcome is amazing. But we have limited resources. That's, that's the major challenge I see. Yeah. Um, and why, why children? Why is FEDA why, why focusing its work on children? Children is one of the uh, is one of the group that we, we, we see that they cannot talk to, for themselves. They need someone else to talk for them. For them. And uh, the way God created people, people are really talented. And they are, peop they are people pleased with their children with, the, with potential talent. But these are blocked. It's not until you open up for them to, 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 to go up and uh, um, uh, and practice the potentialities. So if they, we don't open an access for them to access nutrition, to access education, to access a, a better living life, then we don't have the tomorrow's nation. So we believe if we address children, then we are trying to cultivate their potentials to, to realize their dreams. That's what I can say. Yeah. Thanks, that was good. Yeah. Um, so, um, what, um, when, so are you a, are you a doctor? So you're, no, no, you're I'm a social scientist. In health and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why did you decide to get involved in health? In health? Um, well, specifically um, in development issues. But you cannot uh, separate development from health. So eventually I find myself that to... Health is just a component for development. So uh, fortunately, after my studies, I was employed by the health institution, uh, where is a, is, a medical, is, a, is a medical teaching hospital. So I find myself working in the health sector. And uh, of course, I mastered in health services, now in, in working health sector health organization and then I thought and in the course of teaching then we realize that there are these gaps in health determinants social social aspect issues so we thought that's the right time to address social aspects in improving public health and this if we have healthy people you have a healthy nation what's the um, what's the best thing about your job what's the best Feda, that is something that I'm proud of is I, this is just my, it was my personal feeling. I thought of it for several years and I'm happy now it is a registered organization, is in place, we have acquired funding, we practiced and uh, we, 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 we access about uh, 1,500 people so far. So I, I've seen my dreams are true now, I've come true. So when I was, uh, we registered the office, now I have colleagues who have joined me, Dr. Declare, Dr. Njau, and there's some, some other guy doing the PhD. So uh, my biggest achievement is we have the office in place, and at least we have started to implement the activities, and we have reached one of the disadvantaged group who are children. So my dreams are almost true now. Um, I would wish to see, I would wish to see FEDA in a position of uh, contributing to improve the welfare of underserved communities in Tanzania or in Africa. I would wish to see 
national and international organization partnering or joining hands with FEDA in pursuing health uh, and development related activities. Yeah. Um, and why, I noticed that FEDA is, is in Africa yeah. rather than in Tanzania. Yeah. Why, why Africa? Most of uh, Yeah, we wanted to be brought, wanted to be brought. And uh, most of the developing countries are in Africa. Most of the ill health issues are in Africa. So we thought let's have uh, a platform where anybody within Africa or outside Africa can team up to work for Africa. So we're working for African communities. Yeah. Um, and what would you hope to see in 20 years with regard to ch children's health in Tanzania. I mean, do you, do you think that by the time 20 years comes, the government will have more resources, it will, it will uh, be able to use them better, be able to direct more into school health programs? What, what do you think the future is of ch child's health in Tanzania? Well, um, our, our, my feeling is the way we team up with the other partner organizations and the way other partners are doing in promoting health, specifically to children. We want to eradicate uh, infant and under five mortality rates. Uh, we want to eradicate this death of under five or, or infant completely, or reduce them to, to, to a reasonable number than it is now. Yeah, it is possible, it is possible, it is possible. The major factor, as I said, is poverty. This will depend with, the, with, the, with the, its number of, the number of factors to contribute to alleviating poverty at the national, at the individual, at the, the international level. But um, we need to struggle to see that it is possible. Yeah, yeah. But I think we need to work together to contribute in reducing the maternal, the infant, the under five mortality rates in Tanzania. Um, and I think one of the last questions probably, and I'll see if there's more, is um, what's your experience been like of working with Child Reach International? Mm, well, fortunately, it's the first, uh, it's the first foreign organization that we ever worked with before. It is the first organization which sort of having a like-minded organization like ours to open up their room, to open up their access for children. So we believe we, the first project we did under their support, it was nice. I mean, it was, it was successful. And now we are having the second one. It's like, I believe that we will be able to contribute more in improving health and uh, specifically health and sanitation, water and sanitation in schools in partnership with Child Rich. Um, Norman, do you have any Well, um, what I would like to request or ask for um, ch from Child Rich is uh, mutual partnership. Um, here we are here in Tanzania, but we are working for Africa. We haven't. We wish we could have other partners or other branches in other developing countries in Africa. So we 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 are looking forward to for promotion uh, that uh, the Child Reach is going to introduce FEDA to the rest of the world in the activities that we are doing and encourage partner organizations to collaborate with us through Child Reach or straight working with us in fulfilling our mission. So we, we, we are looking forward for, 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 for partnership and expansion of programs to 
contribute more in improving the health and welfare of the people in Tanzania and in Africa as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much.